three, two, one. Here we go. <laughs> hey, it's Joel, 3D Predator Studio. I am out of sorts a bit because it's off the rails. We, we are about to do something that I, well, here, let me show you. So first of all, these are bone screws. Now, they're a little bit larger than what normally would be used because they're a demonstration print. These were printed in the Tough 2000 on the Form Labs 4L. They look great, they're nice and sturdy, but they're a part of something bigger. Let me get it. The idea of this demonstration is really simple. It shows normal, healthy bone, and it shows osteoporotic bone. The idea being that osteoporosis is very damaging to a bone because it damages the trabecular microstructures. That's all of these things within the bone and it, it lessens the density. And so if you take a bone screw and you put it into the bone, it's nice and sturdy and holds on. But in an osteoporosis bone, there's a lot more room to wiggle there. And so it's, it's a demonstration to show that when you have osteoporosis in a patient, a bone screw might not be able to hold things in place. And that got me thinking, can you 3D print a bone screw? Yes, you can. What? The crazy off the rail ideas that we had was, was to print a bone screw, a bone screw and PCB way, PCB way, 8% off link in the description. They sponsor the studio space here. They printed a bone screw out of titanium, not just one, but five of them, five bone screws. We printed these. If you have a bone screw, you have to test it. We should test this, right? No doctor was gonna let me have a femur. So I had to go to my local butcher shop. Did you know if you go to your local butcher shop and you say, um, I need a bone, some might think it's for a soup recipe. I don't know, but that's a bone. Wow. I went to my local butcher shop, Double D Meats, wonderful people, and I said, I need a bone. And they said, how big? And I was like, how big do you have? Uh, and they went into the back to look for something. Meanwhile, customer behind me said, ooh, do you have a really cool recipe or something? Nope. No, I'm making a YouTube video about bone screws that were 3D printed out of titanium. Uh-huh. So while these are wonderful demonstrations to showcase how osteoporosis can compromise a bone screw's ability to work properly, I think once you start printing bone screws out of titanium, you have to see if they work. Let's do this. Now, to, to, to properly do this, I'm gonna put on my 3D Gloop lab coat because, yeah. You know, before we get into this, I wanna show you these. Like, PCB Way did a fantastic job 3D printing bone screws. Look at that. That is a titanium bone screw. Got a, a star head on them, and then they are threaded at a certain pitch, and these were all printed out of titanium by by PCB way. This was frozen. There are now juices. We're gonna put down some, <laughs> we're gonna put down a trash bag. Let's open it up. So uh, this is a bone. It actually still has some meat on the bone, a little bit. Uh, this is from my local butcher. We're gonna put a titanium bone screw in it thanks to PCB way. <laughs> All right, let's find out which drill bit corresponds with the, the bone screw here. That's about right. 3 sixteenths. Do I, I mean, I think I just, I just kind of go for it, right? Just, okay, three, two. Oh my God, there's a joint. Three, two, one, here we go. Okay, okay, we're through. Let's see if the, if that will fit. Oh, I think it's not wide enough. 
There we go. It's not like having to get it started in a two by four. Oh, this is new. I'm gonna use my my LTT uh, screwdriver. LTTstore.com. <laughs> Can we just take a moment and say that for all the advertising LTT does about their screwdrivers and where they are, this is probably the first time it's being used to drive a titanium bone screw. Let's just let's just see what happens. I might have to widen the hole a bit more. Okay, gotta widen the hole just just a bit more. Okay, bone screw should go in. Is it biting? It's biting. Oh! <laughs> a PCB way, 3D printed titanium bone screw was was just screwed into an actual bone. I'm gonna do it again, right there. Okay, we're in. Patient is sedated. Make a soup out of this. Oh, it's gripping. Oh, no problem. No problem at all. No problem at all. Like none. This is fascinating. We 3D printed a bone screw and Technically, I mean, we we put it into an actual real bone. It wasn't a human bone, but that's okay. Uh, it's in there pretty good. I don't think I don't think this animal had osteoporosis. Uh, cool. Okay, my aim is always to try to learn a little bit of something, and I learned about osteoporosis, and I learned about the trabecular stru microstructures, and and we also learned that you can 3D print a titanium bone screw and screw it into an actual bone. I don't know what to say. I think we did a good job. <laughs> you got there. This was fun. Uh, I'm really glad you guys came along for this one because I learned something and I got to showcase something insane. We are so off the rails. Listen, PCB way, thank you for letting us do something like this and showcasing tech that we might not be able to see otherwise. That's a bone screw, it, in, in bone, in real bone. I paid $17.76 for this bone right here, and I think it was well worth it. Uh, if you made this far, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Ugh, I can't, and as always, high five. <laughs>